Hello. Well, I have some shower magnets here, making sure that they're repulsing here. You can see that little sort of field in the middle. And just to show you that you don't need humongously strong neodymium magnets to make effects with the ferrocell. Let's see if I adjust the camera here a little bit. Now that I'm taking a little look at the camera, maybe I can go down a tad, give you a little closer of a view without trying to get purple lights in there. So we can see that these are basically full fields. Because these are weak magnets, so that it doesn't really extend out to where the lights are. So that the field is smaller, so really you can actually see more, really, of what the field actually is for a magnet. So you don't, you don't need the really, really strong neodymium magnets to do this. And you can see how they react with each other. And you see their balls. Well, I mean, from, from where we see the 3D magnet field going through the uh, basically uh, planar ferrofluid, with the lights reflecting off the, the reflective ferrofluid particles, we see the extent of the field of small magnets. And we can see, I hope you can see, this Y-shaped compression of the fields here. You know, you don't always need to use the most powerful thing in the world to get some information from magnetic fields. And for some reason, my camera has shifted or something. Let's try that again. Let's see if we can get it up here. Maybe I can angle it in a little bit more. So maybe this is better. So this is, this is, you know, kind of a thing, you know, to, to study the magnetic fields, you may not need humongous uh, magnetic influences. You can probably use lesser ones to even see how the fields actually radiate out. I mean, you can... I can I can put my great big huge speaker magnet under there, but it takes up the entire field. If I had a great big huge ferro cell, then I could use my huge magnet. But this this is a five. Actually, the the, the visible area is four and thirteen sixteenths from you know diameter here. But you see that the fields only take up oh an inch and a uh, three eighths or something like that without having a magnet without having a, a tape measure here I can't tell really well I can sort of guesstimate because I work with this stuff all the time you know measurements of that size but you can see how they sort of squish in see how they sort of round. Anyways, I thought I thought I'd show you that. And and, and using magnets like this on a ferrocell, I mean, I'm not sure that these things would actually even burn in a ferrocell. Uh, the, these magnets. So you might be able to use a very light ferrocell and perhaps um less light source 
or some other thing to create, you know, a, a longer lasting ferrocell. Or, you know, if you put a neodymium, it won't last, right? But uh, this is, I, I think this is pretty cool. Anyways, next video. See you later.